Both MPC2 and MPC Beats offer a robust system for changing your MIDI controller's MIDI map. Let's learn how to use it. First, open the Preferences menu, and in the MIDI slash Sync tab, make sure that the Control Input port is enabled for your MIDI controller. Next, in the bottom right corner, click the MIDI Learn icon. To create a new MIDI map from scratch, next to the drop-down menu with your MIDI controller's name, click the Hamburger menu and select New MIDI Map, then click Enable and Learn. Click the parameter you want to map, and on your MIDI controller, simply press the pad or toggle the knob you want to control it with. Now if you deselect Learn and try your new MIDI mapping, you'll see and or hear how your new mapping controls the software. If you don't want to create an entirely new MIDI map and just want to change a specific mapping, open the drop-down menu next to Enable, navigate to and select your MIDI controller's factory mapping, then open the Hamburger menu and click Duplicate. Then reopen the drop-down menu, and under User, select the new MIDI mapping with your MIDI controller's name, followed by Copy. Now, feel free to change any specific mappings you want. 